Across ancient civilizations, the echoes of forgotten gods still resonate. In the temples of Mesoamerica, Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent, was worshipped as a bringer of life, a guide for humanity. Meanwhile, in the far-off lands of Mesopotamia, the Sumerians revered Enki, a god of creation and wisdom, a protector of mankind. Two gods, worlds apart, but their stories eerily similar. Could these deities, separated by vast oceans and cultures, be connected? Are they reflections of the same ancient power, disguised in different forms throughout history? Tonight, we dive deep into the shadowy past to uncover the link between Quetzalcoatl and Enki. What ancient truths lie hidden in their legends? And what might they reveal about the forces that have shaped humanity? Stay with us as we venture into the unknown, searching for answers that could reshape our understanding of who we are and where we truly came from. Long ago, in the cradle of ancient Mesoamerica, a god emerged from the swirling winds and shifting sands, a god whose influence would ripple across time and space, from the forgotten ruins of the Toltec Empire to the halls of modern mythology. His name, whispered in awe and reverence, was Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. To some, he was a creator, to others, a savior, and to the rulers of Mesoamerican empires, he was a symbol of wisdom, knowledge, and civilization. But Quetzalcoatl was no ordinary deity. His story, woven through myth, legend, and historical reality, is as complex and mysterious as the great civilizations that worshipped him. In the ancient city of Teotihuacan, nearly 1,800 years ago, his name was etched into the very stones. The great feathered serpent, god of wind, air and the morning star was honored with a monumental pyramid its surface covered in intricate depictions of serpents intertwined with water and sky but his origin stretches back even further to a time before time quetzalcoatl whose name in the nahuatl language means feathered serpent was more than just a god of the air in the stories passed down by the aztecs toltecs and maya Quetzalcoatl was the architect of human civilization itself. As the god of wisdom, learning, and creation, he was said to have crafted the first humans from the bones of those who came before, mixing the dust of their remains with his own blood to breathe life into humanity. But his benevolence did not end there. Quetzalcoatl was also the god who brought civilization to the people. According to the myths, he descended from the heavens to teach humanity the skills of agriculture, art and governance. He introduced the cultivation of maize, giving the people the lifeblood of their society. He brought forth the knowledge of mathematics, architecture and astronomy, teaching his followers to look not only to the earth for sustenance, but to the stars for guidance. Under his influence, the great cities of Mesoamerica flourished. Teotihuacan, Tula, Cholula, centers of trade, art, and astronomical knowledge. But for every creation myth, there is a tale of betrayal, a serpent in the garden. In the case of Quetzalcoatl, his downfall was as legendary as his rise. The god was said to have ruled over the city of Tula in the kingdom of the Toltecs as a great and noble priest king. 
but his brother and eternal rival, Tezcatlipoca, the god of night, sorcery, and discord, plotted his demise. In a moment of weakness, Quetzalcoatl was tricked into violating his own principles. Tezcatlipoca, the god of shadows, offered him pulque, the sacred drink of the gods, and in his intoxication, Quetzalcoatl fell from grace. Shamed and dishonored, he left his people, sailing eastward on a raft of serpents, disappearing into the mist. But as he left, he vowed that one day he would return. This promise of his return echoed through the centuries, a prophecy that would take on chilling significance in the 16th century, when the Aztec emperor Moctezuma II believed that the pale-skinned, bearded conquistador Hernán Cortés might be the long-awaited return of Quetzalcoatl. In a tragic twist of fate, this belief paved the way for the fall of the Aztec Empire. Across the ancient world, separated by thousands of miles, two gods emerged, each bearing the form of a serpent, each carrying the wisdom of the ages. In the lands of Mesoamerica, he was known as Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. In the cradle of civilization, Mesopotamia, he was Enki, the lord of the abyss. Both creators, both protectors, both bringers of knowledge to humankind. Today, we unravel the timeless connection between these serpent gods, whose stories span not only continents, but the very nature of human understanding. In Mesoamerican lore, Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent, was the god of wind, knowledge, and the morning star. His image, a serpent with the wings of a bird, symbolized the union of earth and sky, the physical and the spiritual. A bringer of civilization, Quetzalcoatl descended from the heavens to teach his people the secrets of the stars, the wisdom of agriculture, and the structure of society. He gave humanity maize, the lifeblood of Mesoamerican culture, and established the sacred calendar. Thousands of miles away, in ancient Sumer, a similar figure emerged. Enki, the god of water, wisdom, and creation. Enki's domain was the freshwater abyss, the Abzu, the life-giving waters from which all things sprang. As a master of magic and knowledge, Enki shaped the world through his wisdom, giving humanity the tools they needed to build civilization. Like Quetzalcoatl, he was the architect of human progress, imparting the laws, governance, and sciences that would shape Mesopotamian society for millennia. But these gods, so far removed in geography and culture, shared a deeper bond. Both embodied the ancient serpent. In Mesoamerican myth, Quetzalcoatl's serpentine form connected him to the cycles of life, death, and rebirth, much like the shedding of a snake's skin. He was the feathered serpent, a divine symbol of transformation, who brought humanity out of the darkness of ignorance into the light of knowledge. Enki, too, carried the wisdom of the serpent. As lord of the Abzu, the watery depths from which life itself was born, Enki governed the flow of time and creation. His waters nourished the earth, much like the rains and rivers that sustained Mesopotamian civilization. And within those waters lay the wisdom of the world, the sacred knowledge of creation, life, and balance. Both Quetzalcoatl and Enki are credited with the creation of humanity. In Aztec legend, Quetzalcoatl journeyed into the underworld, gathering the bones of previous generations, 
and mixing them with his own blood to give life to the first humans of this world. A selfless act, one that mirrored the compassion he held for mankind. A god willing to sacrifice part of himself to ensure human existence. In the ancient Sumerian myths, Enki too played a pivotal role in shaping humanity. He combined clay from the earth with the blood of a slain god, creating mankind to serve the gods but also to share in the divine spark of life. Both gods, Quetzalcoatl and Enki, were creators who bridged the gap between the divine and the mortal, giving humanity not only life but knowledge, culture and identity. And yet, as with all creation myths, there is a darkness, a moment of cosmic conflict. Quetzalcoatl, after being tricked by his rival Tezcatlipoca into disgrace, left the city of Tula, sailing east on a raft of serpents. His departure marked the end of a golden age, yet he vowed to return. Meanwhile, across the seas, Enki found himself at odds with his fellow gods when they decreed the destruction of humanity. In the face of an impending flood, Enki defied the divine council, secretly warning the hero Zeusudra to build an ark and save humankind. Both gods, in their own way, stood as protectors of humanity, even when the divine order turned against them. Quetzalcoatl, in his departure, left behind a legacy of wisdom and hope, while Enki, defying the will of the gods, ensured that humanity would survive the flood and continue to thrive. In the codices of the Aztecs, their myths are preserved like hidden treasures, carefully passed down through generations, despite the attempts of conquerors to erase them. Among these preserved legends lies the story of Quetzalcoatl, a name often adorned upon many figures throughout history, but none more significant than the original, the creator god. Quetzalcoatl, the one sent by the gods who dwell in the heavens, appears in these ancient texts, his true identity preserved through the ages. In the Leyenda de los Soles, found within the Chimalpopoca Codex, Quetzalcoatl is tasked with descending into Mictlan, the land of the dead, to retrieve the precious bones of previous human creations. These bones are the key to bringing humanity back into existence. But the journey isn't easy. Quetzalcoatl faces trials, including a challenge to wring a conch shell without holes. With the help of insects, he succeeds and retrieves the bones. However, in his escape, he stumbles, breaking the sacred relics. Yet in this moment of failure, something miraculous happens. Quetzalcoatl grinds the bones into powder and mixes them with his own divine blood. This sacred act gives rise to us, modern humanity. Now, when we compare this legend to the Sumerian myth of creation, we're struck by the parallels. Replace Quetzalcoatl with Enki, and the story remains the same. An ancient god retrieving the material needed to create life. And as we trace these myths through different cultures, from Prometheus to biblical stories, the threads continue to weave together. These gods, these creators, appear across the globe, leaving behind evidence of their cosmic origins. They came from the stars, bearing knowledge and life shaping humanity from the dust of ancient worlds. In the myths of Quetzalcoatl, we find the story of a god who not only created humanity, but also brought the essential sustenance needed for survival, corn. Quetzalcoatl, transforming into an ant, retrieved corn from a sacred mountain, bringing nourishment to the early humans. Similar tales exist across cultures, gods bringing wheat, rice, and millet to different lands. Each grain, a gift from the terraforming gods who once walked the earth, spreading the seeds of life. And when we look at the timeline of these crops appearing, we can trace Quetzalcoatl back to the ninth millennium BC, making him a figure not just of myth, but of history.
Across civilizations separated by vast oceans and centuries of time, these deities share an uncanny resemblance. Were they part of the same cosmic plan sent to shape humanity? Or are we simply connecting dots that were never meant to align? The answers may never be certain, but one thing is clear. The more we dig into these ancient myths, the more we begin to question everything we thought we knew about our past. Join us next time as we continue our journey, exploring the mysteries that have shaped our world, the gods who walked among us, and the secrets that still linger in the shadows. Until then, keep your mind open and remember, what we uncover today could change everything tomorrow.